up, man? <laughs> well, you know, do you ever miss the days when instead of typing everything on a keyboard, you would just write things down? I miss those days, sure. Yeah. Uh, do you ever do that? Like as a as a college guy, do you ever uh, like you know grade papers by hand or write things? I just I like I like writing stuff down. You know why? Because you don't need internet access to read it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so uh, we we hold up your um, your legal pad one more time and let me get a good look at it. Just just a little bit of it. I mean, you can't. I don't want to show you the contents of it, but sure. Well, I just. Just, just, I just want to see how you write, like what your handwriting looks like. Oh, my handwriting is uh, decent. It's uh, yeah. yeah. So you you cursive or you print? I print only. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's kind of what I want to talk about today. Is the dead end of writing in cursive? Oh man, cursive. You know, <laughs> and and it was something that we all hated when we were in school. And as soon as we got a chance to not do it anymore, we didn't. And it was something that the term cursive, people older than us didn't even seem to know what it meant. Did you have that experience? Like if you told your um, grandparents, you ra- they'd say, because to them, there was writing and there was printing and writing meant cursive. Oh, well, you know, I mean, first of all, it is frustrating. It has the word curse in it, right? So you immediately yeah. think of of cursing. Well, it should be more fun than it is. Yeah, yeah. Well, cursing cursing can be fun, of course, but yeah. usually you curse when you're frustrated, oh, right? That's true. Um it it sort of the definition of cursive is a style of penmanship in which the symbols of the language are written in a conjoined and or flowing manner generally for the purpose of making writing faster and harder to and harder to read harder to read and faster <laughs> but but faster is is relative because i always have to remember wait which one is the uh, capital q is hey, that yeah, the right. one that looks like a 2 yeah. um, <laughs> seriously i remember i used to get letters from my grandmother like handwritten letters and i couldn't yeah. read them i could not read them it was like she was writing in a code that I couldn't crack, uh, just because she had very hard to read handwriting. Um, every now and then you'd be like, "Oh, that's how she makes her ends," or "That's how she makes her." And then over time, maybe you could go back and be like, "Oh, now I could read some of the older ones." But yeah, it was very frustrating. It was almost like she was writing in a different language. I but couldn't was it was it sloppy? I mean, was it, was it like you know? It was very neat. It was just right. She you she had a different style where I couldn't read it. So, so, so your grandmother would uh, see you and she'd say, Alex, did you get my letter? And did I'd, you read what I wrote? I'd say, yes, I did. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And she that. thought, she thought, you know, she'd send you $5 or something for your birthday. And all that time she thought you couldn't read. And then later on, my grandfather started typing me, typing me letters and I was so happy because I was like, I could read those. <laughs> but you know what's funny is that he always called me Alec. And I always thought that was just like a shorthand way. But then when he started giving me typed letters, he would spell out Alec. And I was like, oh. He just- With a K or a C? C. Or a CK? It's just a C. Oh, you know why? Because you're a smart Alec. Yeah, that's what he would say. That's what he would say. <laughs> but I d- actually thought he – th- then he, when he started typing those, I realized that he just didn't know my name. I'm going to start calling you Alec. Okay. I like that. Yeah, like Alec. Trebek. Yeah. No, okay. that, no, that was Alex Trebek. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to call you Alec. Alec. I'm just going to call you Trebek. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See how long that lasts. <laughs> All right, Trebek. So, so really, we want to talk. You, yeah, you mentioned that grandparents, our parents, grandparents. They didn't call it cursive. We would start learning. When did you start learning? Like third grade, fourth grade, you start learning yeah, cursive? something like that. Yeah. And I remember I, you'd get stressed out about it. They're like, all right, next year you have to learn cursive. Right, right. And you're going to stop using – I remember going from uh, using a pencil to a pen. Yeah, take like off all middle the – Middle school. Yeah, take off all the safety nets. Yeah. Well, so it's interesting because I think people – you know, there's lots of words for it. If you start looking up synonyms, there's, you know, of course, like you said, writing, but penmanship, that's actually, so, so cursive is 
something that is about you know a certain type or a style of writing, but penmanship is just the art or skill of having excellent handwriting. So if you have good penmanship, you you're you're very neat. Your letters are the same height. Um, you know they don't kind of like. I think with mine, a lot of times mine would end up going off the line. I'd kind of write in a little bit of a diagonal, and it would amplify over the course of the paper. And by the end, I'm not within the lines anymore. Um, did you know that there's another word for writing or penmanship called scri- scriverny? Never heard or of it. Scriverny? No. Kind of like scribe. Like scribe also, here. ductus. Ductus is text written by hand or the act of writing by hand. Nope. I don't so. know that one. Well, a lot of people kind of think that cursive is unnecessary because mostly because of technology, right? Um, you know, that really writing at all is unnecessary, but especially writing cursive because how often do you sit down and write something that takes you a long time? Um, but what's interesting about that is there's actually a lot of people now that are saying that cursive writing has benefits. Have you heard about this? No. They say that young students who are starting to write cursive, it actually helps you with your fine motor skills. Hmm. It helps you um, stimulate a part of your brain, like a hemisphere of your brain that involves language and thinking and and memory, um, having to remember what those things are. Um, It helps also people who write cursive well do it well because it has a flow to it. And when you get into that flow, it's easy to... Uh, move from word to word. They actually say that um, people who write in cursive have a better demonstrated understanding of the words that they're writing. I I could see that. You mean they have a better like vocabulary and yeah and- yeah like they 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 know the definition of the words better. Uh, also, the College Board here in the U.S. Uh, not board people in college, but you know a group of people who uh, they do that study SATs, colleges. Yeah. Yeah, they found that actually on the SAT, students that write, wrote their essays in cursive uh, generally score higher than students that printed their essays. Mm. Now, calligraphy is like the highest form of cursive, right? It's like yeah, I think fancy. calligraphy is a is an art form. Yeah, you know, it's a very very much an art form. But and I love uh, calligraphy. I love watching people do that stuff. Yeah, it's supposed to give you. Actually, better motor control, like better fine fine motor control, which I guess typing on a on a phone, you know, typing on a uh, text message or a chat or whatever, is is a motor skill, but it's a very sort of repetitive motor skill. Whereas I think with cursive, you're 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 moving on three axes, right? You're kind of moving uh, left, right, up, back, across, down, like a typewriter. Maybe, yeah. I suppose I could see that. Um, well, there's also um, handwriting analysis of people that says that um, if you write uh, in a certain way, it's considered uh, cumulative thinking. Yeah. And what that is, is if you use really curved or round um like M's and N's tend to be really curved, yeah. then it's a certain style of thinking, yeah. and they can tell things about your personality from that. That's junk science. <laughs> oh, it is. They also it is. They also say they also say that um, comprehensive thinkers, you know, people that so there's cumulative thinking and comprehensive thinking. Uh, comprehensive thinkers use really sharp points in their cursive. So do you did you do loopy cursive yeah, or sharp? That's all junk, sharp junk science. Really? I remember all the cute girls did loopy, um, loopy with their purple and and uh, <laughs> right the pen with four colors. Yeah, on it. and the remember the, that the gel pens and yeah the gel pens. Seems like yeah. all the cute girls had real loopy writing. Yeah, and yeah. to this day, sometimes I'll catch somebody like in a meeting with real loopy writing. I think oh, I bet you were cute when you were in high school. <laughs> And, and and Bob says thanks, Alex. <laughs> you never see guys with loopy writing. So I have horrible handwriting. Um, I don't write in cursive very often. I I, I so every once in a while I kind of find it fun to write something in cursive mm-hmm. just to see if I can remember how to do it. Mm-hmm. But what are some synonyms for for bad penmanship? You got any chicken scratch? Yes, scrawl. 
Scribble, yeah, scrawl. Scribble, yeah, yeah. There's lots of good, uh, but chicken scratch is is yeah. One of my a lot of doctors, people, people will look and they'll say, oh, well, my. So you, what you never see is somebody signing their name, printing it out. Like that looks like, uh, yeah, you're a psychopath if you write if you if your signature is just printed out uh, letters, you look <laughs> unstable. Um, or, or if it's just an X. But mine, my handwriting, my autograph looks crazy. Which, by the way, is worth a lot. And if you are a Patreon supporter of ours, you will get both Alex and I's autographs, and you will get to see it. That is my uh, autograph. Wow. That is kind of – that doesn't look – that doesn't really say anything. It does to me. But um, but if I wrote it out, it would look insane. I don't even know if you're allowed to do that. Are you allowed to have your signature be just printed letters? I think that's why they have you sign it and then print it underneath, right? A you lot have of times to have you two have versions, to... yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Now, my um, I do like the signature that the Adobe PDF gives me. Kind of wish I could yeah, write actually, that. Yeah, actually. Actually, I like mine too. I like mine too. And, and I would you never can be able to duplicate that. that. Yeah, no, I would never be able to duplicate that. You can you can modify it though. Yeah. Well, okay. So actually, um, I I was looking and doing my research. I was looking up can you improve your handwriting, and you can. You if with practice, you could. You could actually take your Adobe um, signature, print it out, and then just do it over and over again, Trace like it. like like writing sentences. Yeah. I will not interrupt Kelly during Dirt Nap City. I will not interrupt Kelly during Dirt Nap City. I will not interrupt Kelly during Dirt Nap City. That's how forgers learn how to do it, probably. Ah, uh, right. Bart Simpson. Is forgery still a thing? Um. Yeah. Yeah. I think it is. Uh, like it's real forgery. Because, like. Yeah. Like actually. Well. I don't know. Like when you when you use a credit card, you know, you're supposed to sign on the little tablet, right? Um. And and that still happens pretty frequently. I think mm -hmm. it's less common now with the um, RFID and the different you know ways of using cards, Apple Pay and such. But the signature I put on those little tablets never looks like my actual. Yeah, signature. I don't think there's any software that actually checks the match to those. Right, because you've right. seen mine, and I, you know, it, it, there's no way. I think I could write whatever on there. I, I'm, I'm going to take a guess, or I'm not going to take a guess, but I think I know the answer to this question, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Do you think we should bring cursive back to school? I do not. You don't. Totally useless. Is that what you thought I'd say? That is what I thought you'd say, yes. But yeah, I think it's a waste of time. So even if, even if you did, even if scientists did find it to be um, useful for uh, motor skills and all the things I talked about earlier, you know, kind of you know, creating near out logical pathways. And the fact that the SAT, the college board said that kids who wrote their essays and cursive got higher scores, like all of that, um, you still don't think we should bring it back? No, because those aren't, that's, that's correlation, not causation. That, that, mm -hmm. that isn't because they're using cursive. There's probably other things that people write in cursive do, um, that indicate they're just, just more learned people, interesting people. No, I don't think that that would change anything. Imagine if the Constitution, if the Constitution or the Declaration of Independence had been printed instead of in like Comic Sans. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, last thing I want to mention about this because um, we were talking about Big Loopy. Uh, I think of two signatures that are very different, uh, but two two people in my life. My grandmother, who is ninety eight years old, still alive. Um, she had the big or has the big loopy signature and her name is Colleen, but her C looks like an L and it's always, so I've often call her Laleen mm. because, and, because and uh, it, it's cool because that name is like, there's no right angles in that name. Every letter is a loop. Yeah. It's Every all curves. Letter, yeah. It's all curves. That's so cool. Um, yeah, that's great. And yet my dad's signature was very sharp, all sharp lines, all like like basically no – he didn't really have any curves in his at all. I mean there's an O in his – there's a couple of O's in it, and so I guess he had to – but even the O's were sort of like angled and sort of squished a little bit. It's it's interesting, and I think about their personalities, it kind of fits. 
that's junk science. <laughs> All right. Well, so is cursive writing. Uh, let us know if you think we should bring cursive writing back, if we should start a start a crusade or start a, a social media campaign for uh, bring back cursive, hashtag bring back cursive. Yeah, if you want to do cursive, do you, man. And if you want to bring it back, bring it back. Just uh, don't make it compulsory in schools. Okay. There you go. Dirt Nap City Dead End Cursive Writing. Boom. <laughs> dance ink on paper taking chance thoughts unfurl in rhythmic line a bygone art truly divine each letter linked a flowing chain whispers secrets soft as rain more than marks a crafted soul Story whispered, taking hold, lost in screens, a touch is gone, but beauty lingers, carrying on, in faded letters, love confessed, a cursive dream, forever blessed, cursive writing, where have you gone, we miss your flow. We miss your charm We know one day You'll make it back To give our writing The, the stars